Hi right, everyone, welcome to the channel, Full Time Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a review on my Bird Light Browning Jack uh, Upland Vest uh, that I've had for probably over uh, five years now. Um, I'm just giving a review of what I think about it, the features on it, and what I like about it and what I don't like about it. So on the jacket itself, it has two pockets. Um, let me just wrap it Two pockets up here. Uh, it's, you know, it's cloth pockets. You know, it comes up, it hangs up, uh, closes out with a button. Uh, so you close it out, you know, with your hands in there. Uh, it holds, I would say I have around, it can hold probably um, a box each on each, on each pocket. Um, I usually just carry about 10 bullets anyways. But that's what it does uh, on the back and it does come with two drink holders um, i use a gatorade bottle for my dogs just it's just easier to push out water if needed uh, the two pockets are good it will fit gatorade bottle uh gatorade reusable bottles it does not fit powerade or gatorade 32 ounce bottles that you could buy at the gas station um, unfortunately i wish it did but it does not it does come with bungees on the side for the pocket in case your drink smaller and you can close it up to make it smaller for any drink that needs to hold it in on um, the back end there's a back pocket that kind of clips in and it has a little scrunchie in the top so you, pull, you know you can, you can pull it out and i do put you know jackets in here i put a, a first aid kit for my dogs in here so i do have that there um in the front end, there is adjustments. Actually, think about it. In the back, there's a clip so you can hang your jacket up if you ever are done hunting and you want to hang it up in your car or something. So there's a little loop here for hanging. Uh, the back, it's a just fully adjustable. Uh, you just move these two clips back up and down to make it longer, shorter for your adjustments for your type of body. Um, the front end, there's two huge shoulder pads um, that's blaze orange and you know they're great they have good support like you can see one side stain i'm a right hand shooter uh, so you can see i have the gunpowder stains here it comes with more adjustments in the bottom end uh, as you can see here there's two adjustments here and two clips two there's two belt clips one clips to support your back and then the other clips the two the vest together uh, so there's four clips six clips in total uh, you do the back strips, uh, straps, and then um, the vest strap, and then your chest strap clips. Um, other than that, it does have a clip in here inside the game bag. There's a clip where, if you're not carrying any birds at the moment, you can clip it to make the jacket more slim and more comfortable to carry on. Um, once you start getting birds, you can go into the back of the jacket, unclip it. And it gives you allows you to have more room for more birds you know it, it it gives you a lot more room all right so then i'm going to try to put this jacket on i'll show you the details of each accessory that they have here um honestly i this jacket's really great um the material is great you know it's not comparable to uh wing works or anything with material wise but the material that's on the jacket it's great it's i like it i love it a lot i hunt this one in my wing works every weekend uh from the start of our season in minnesota iowa and wisconsin and it's great uh, so what i would do is you first do is adjust make the adjustments all your on your uh vest um basically you're, what you're doing is adjusting for the back strap to be right on your lower back um, make sure that's on your lower back because that's going to be where your support is so that you can your your bags your lift you're holding the birds up with your shoulder and not your back and then you make the best adjustments you know tied up and your chest adjustments and so this is what it looks like when it's fully clipped um, you know again it's hold the pockets are held by buttons uh, which secured I've had my phone in here and had nothing fall out so it's great because I believe how it works is top end is the, the amount of space you have to stick your hand in is smaller so that when things pop up when you're running and gunning and you're walking or crawling through stuff it doesn't have a tendency to um, slip out so that's what this is for 
these pockets actually do have an inner liner um, right here inside here it's covered in a kind of fleece material and it does keep your hand warm if you need to um, I don't really use it as much but it does it's there in case you're a hunter that needs to warm your hands a little bit for a shoe so that's there um, on the side of the pocket right here you can see it's kind of closed in if you do get more birds uh, you have access from the front of your jacket all the way throughout so you can run this a bird from here and run it all to the to the other side of the jacket and what I do is this jacket runs as you can see here my hands this is where the jacket ends it's it runs the game bag runs throughout the whole jacket uh, the best um, there is two clips on the side in case for example you shoot more birds or you need to help carry some birds for some buddies there's a button right here if you release the button on both sides notice how the jacket gets bigger so you can fit more birds again with the clip in the back of the game bird uh, vest pouch it has more room I can fit about maybe I would say if I was to fill this bag out I could probably fit about seven eight pheasants in here easily um, so it just has that room in case you need it what I usually do is when I'm hunting and I don't on the start of the day I don't actually keep the game bag buck, buckle clipped what I do is I just take these two buckets of buttons and clip them so it's easier for me to hold the weight on my end because I drink two, do, do carry water bottles with me and the weight on the water bottles do starts to take a toll if you're walking miles uh, so I do clip in so the weights um, more balanced out into my back uh, to my shoulders instead of my back so that's why I do clip these before I hunt and if I do shoot a bird um, I do unbutton them but um, that's after I shoot a bird so this is a jacket um, you know big pockets drink holders could be bigger from my personal experience I do like to drink Gatorade at 32 ounce and I do prefer carrying 32 ounce water bottles so this bottle wish was a little bigger so you can just carry more water with you uh, does not have a hydration pouch um, that's one thing that I found that was not as great it does not have a hydration pouch that you can put a hydration there and have two water bottles for your dogs um, another thing is I do keep a whistle with me at all times um, normally I use a retractable whistle a, a clip so I can pull it out blow on it um, but that's this is what I had at the time so I'm using it um, so these are all adjustable so for me if I'm standing straight up this back strap is right on my back lower back it's not sitting on, on my upper back or higher it's right on my upper back right where it needs to be for the back support uh, all right so then you guys can see here I do have a carabiner here uh, this carabiner is for my dog e collar. I clip it here on the go. Um, it's easier than having another lanyard that I'm pulling on home. This it's just more I just can't have a carabiner and run to perfect. Uh, what I normally do is to help save my carabiner uh, my dog my e collar from getting beat uh, punished throughout the day of the walk. Uh, I clip it down here. I bought a bigger carabiner and we're clip it down here and what I do is I hide it in I clip it in my vest so basically what I'm doing is this I would have a dog collar in here and I would just clip it in here so if I button this I would just clip it in here and then it pulls it up and so this is what needs to be done and then so if I ever need to stimulate my dog I can just pull it out bam right there so that's why I use the care instead of a a lanyard uh, just the lanyards just gets in the way um, the slow shoulder straps are very comfortable very comfortable shoulder straps these are by far I think the best straps I've had so far it gives you a little cushion for impact from recoil of the gun um, as you can see there's I need a little more adjustments again I usually loosen it up for a jacket or so in the winter so that's why it's so loose and then they do come with two adjustments on the side so in case you're carrying birds you can make the adjustment to pull the weight from the 
pouch up to your shoulders again. So they, they do adjust it, you just pull down on it and it just pulls this back, the bag, the gain bag off. So you're not um, putting a lot of pressure on your back. So I've used this quite a bit depending on how many birds I'm carrying. If it's light, I'm gonna loosen it up. If it's heavy, I pull it up so it, it lifts the weight out above your back so it's not hurting, you're, you're not getting a backache from walking and all that. Um, other than that, uh, thank you for watching. Um, again, this is um, just to mention, in case you guys were wondering, this Dogtra is a 3502. They do come in a 3500. I do have a review on it, uh, so check my other channel for this. But again, this is the Bird Light Browning Bird and Light hunting vest. Uh, it runs around, I think, $120. Um, and for $120, you can't beat this price. It's worked flawlessly with me. Um, I switch out from this one in my wing works. I do have a review on my wing works too if you guys need to. Check that out. Only again, like again, bird vest. It's all blaze orange in the back, in the front. Um, the pockets are there. And I do stick gloves in the sides here if you guys ever need to carry gloves. Um, thanks for watching and subscribe.